All right, this, is, this problem is as hard as any problem I would have you solve with vertical acceleration. It's got a cute little suvat, right? It's got three things there, time, displacement, and uh, um, time, displacement, and velocity, right? Initial velocity, okay? So um, let's solve that. It looks like we got three things there. I know I can't solve the problem unless I know the acceleration, so let's do that. S, U, V, A, and T. So displacement, initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, time. Our initial velocity is zero. Our final is we don't really care. Our acceleration we deeply want to know. Our time is three seconds. And our, dis our displacement is 23.4 meters. Uh, I think the thing to use here is S equals U T plus one half A T squared. So 23.4 equals the initial velocity is zero, right? So it's one half a times 3 squared. All right, and then, you know, what are the odds that 23.4 is divisible by, uh, what, 9.5? Let's try it. 23.4 uh, times 2 divided by 9. All right. Um, I'm getting the acceleration to be, uh, oh, hold on, times 2 divided by 9. 5.2, exactly. Okay, so our acceleration is 5.2 meters per second squared, which is very cool. And that's positive, right? That means it's this rocket's accelerating up. So now we're set. We can, we can draw the rocket taking off. Here it is. All right, here we go. Okay, so our forces acting on this rocket are the, the um, thrust of the engine up, the weight of the rocket down, right? Okay, uh, the weight is going to be m times g, so that's 60 times 9.81. That's 588.6. Right, so that's this guy. The weight is 588.6 newtons, and that's down, so I'll make it negative. And then the force is unknown, right? So we don't know what that is. You always make unknowns positive. And now we're all set. Now we can set up our little thing. We can go F minus 588.6 equals, uh, let's see, uh, M, which is 60, right? times A, which is, well, we know it's positive 5.2, right? Okay, so this, this formula here is just F equals MA. But this force has to be the sum of all forces, right? So now we're set. We're going to go 588.6. We're going to add this to it, right? Put this on this side. So that plus 60 times 5.2, 900.6. Now, I wish sig figs didn't exist, but they do, so I guess we're supposed to round it to that place. So 901 newtons is good enough for us.